Hello guys! Today I have a deck tech video for you of a super ultra budget red aggro deck that I call Red Deck's a douchebag. I guess it's a variant on Red Deck Wins, um, which is like a common, seems to be like a common term of just like a red deck that's really fast, really aggro, and pretty, pretty good. Um, I don't know if mine's pretty good, because I'm a casual player, but I don't care. Um, it is not standard legal by any means. It is modern legal if you take out one spell that does not have a modern printing, though why anybody would take this to a modern tournament, I don't know. I wouldn't. Maybe I would. I probably would. Who knows? Um, I was inspired to build this after a friend of mine gave me a box of like 5,000 old commons and commons, and there were about a 1,000 red spells in there, so I thought, I'll build a burn deck, because I don't actually really like burn decks that much, or I don't like burn. Um, like, for the same reason I don't really like counter spells, is that I think it's kind of, like, lazy in a way. Like, I don't feel like there's a lot of strategy, but, I mean, this deck is fun if you like being a douche, so. The mana base is 20 mountains. Small mana base, but I have not had an issue with getting, um, mana screwed because the curve does not go above 4. There are a few spells with X in the cost if, like, late game becomes a thing. But um, generally, this deck's pretty good at just screwing your opponent over. So for spells, first off, I have the Instance, Seething Song, um, recently banned on Magic the Gathering Online, so I put it in this deck. I don't know if it's good in this deck, but I don't care because it's my deck, and I'll do what I want. Then I have um, Sudden Shock, which is an instant that has split second, and basically split second, as I understand it, means it can't really be countered. Um, so, cool. Two shocks, pretty self-explanatory. They reprint this, like, every core set, pretty much. Um, two needle drops. I don't know if you're familiar with it, because I sure wasn't. Um, instant. Needle drop deals one damage to target creature or player that was dealt damage this turn and draw a card. Um, the first part, always going to happen, because this deck is built around damaging your opponent every turn. And card advantage is always cool. And I have two lightning axes um, to deal with big critters if big critters happen to come out. Um, lightning axe deals five damage to target creature, and I can cast it for one mana and discard a card. And in this deck, discarding a card is like whatever because every like there's a lot of multiples. I run four blazes, um, and they are just, you know, like, whatever. But this this particular printing of this card is the most expensive in this deck. For some reason, it's a dollar. I think maybe because it's modern playable, whereas these are, like, 15 cents. They're, like, totally worthless. But it's okay, you know. Um, can pump X amount of mana into it to do X amount of damage to creature or player. Um, so that's, you know, pretty good. Not terrible. Um, two Pillar of Flames. Oh, I'm moving into the Sorceries. Blaze is a sorcery. If that were an instant, that card would be, like, way more better. Way more better. Um, two Pillar of Flames. Probably don't have to explain those. Um, for land destruction, I have four Poison the Wells. And I like this more than Demolish because even though Demolish is versatile with artifacts, my playgroup doesn't care about artifacts. Um, and this shocks the controller of the land that you destroy. So, pretty cool. And then, um, three stone rain for land destruction. You know, standard kitty. Kitty, you stop that. I just let you in, and now you're scratching to get out. Why do you do this to me, kitty? Uh, any of you with cats, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, you, you hide in the corner in shame. Anyway, stone rain for three mana. Destroy one target land. Pretty straightforward. Um, I have three Disintegrates. If I owned more, there would be a playset. This is like Blaze, but I think that it is better because whatever... Like, if you decide to kill a creature with it, the creature is exiled. So, I think that it's better. I don't know, maybe it's not. But this is the card that's not modern legal because they didn't reprint it in the modern card frame. Bummer. Um, for enchantments now, I have... 
three seals of fire, one mana um, to put it on the battlefield, and then I can sacrifice it at any time to deal two damage to target creature or player. And I like that because I can just have them all on the battlefield at the same time and then sacrifice them all. Be super rude about it. Um, and then two Curse of the Pierced Heart. This card isn't like that amazing, but it is fun in this deck because it does one damage to Salem. I get over here. Come here, kitty. I don't want to let you out. Just come over here. I'll pet you. Just give you attention. Gah. Um, I like this because enchantment removal isn't super common, and so it's it's pretty. Kitty, those are my cards. Don't. Yeah, I'll get to the creatures. She's telling me that I need to talk about the creatures. So anyway, Curse of the Pierced Heart, one damage, each upkeep. Cool beans. Um, for creatures, two gutter snipes, which are amazing in this deck. Um, whenever tar you cast an instant or a sorcery spell, gutter snipe deals two damage to each opponent. <sighs> Kitty. This card um, probably wouldn't or this deck wouldn't be that good in multiplayer, I don't think, because there's not enough burn to go around. But this card's still awesome. Um, two Raging Goblins. I just put them in here because they're 1-1 one, one drops. Um, one mana, 1-1, one, one, and then they have haste, so I can swing as soon as they are on the battlefield. Um, three, four. Four Spark Elementals. This card is awesome. Um... Ideally, play it on turn one. Um, turn two, even, would still be viable. It's a, um, costs one red mana. It's a 3-1. It has trample and haste, and at the end of the turn, you sacrifice it. So it's kind of like a vexing devil for one less damage, is how I see it. Um, I really like this card. I think it's pretty awesome. And then I have one goblin fire slinger, and if I had more, I would probably rearrange the deck and put more of him in here. Um, 1-1 one, one for 1, red mana, but the reason I like him is I can just tap him to deal direct damage to a target player without having to go through their critters. So, I like him, I mean he's easy to kill, yeah, but still direct damage is, is fun. So that is my red deck's a douchebag deck, and, um, Salem doesn't seem too impressed by it, but she's so hard to please this kitty. Um, so thank you for watching, uh, comment in the, in the bottom part to tell me what you think. If you have any suggestions, I'm open to them, though, I mean, it runs pretty well for me. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, have a good day.